Yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox Ninja here, and we are back in the reveal. Welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Today, we are in a hot land. We are going to go to Alfish and give her the letter that Undyne wanted to give her. Um, if you watched up last episode, you already probably knew that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, let's get on with this. FPS looks good. It's not tanking, so that's good. Um, and yeah, my PC has been improving. Like, there was a point where it just was completely terrible, but... Um, we should be fine for now. And I'll occasionally look from time to time to make sure my webcam isn't blocking any important dialogue or anything. I know, uh... The, 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 the door has no mail slot. Slide the, slide the letter under? Uh, no! Wait. You'll keep the letter warm for a little longer. <laughs> Alright. Okay. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, there she is. Uh, 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 no, is that another letter? I, I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut k k kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. <laughs> it took all that just to open the door. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my gosh. Did you write this letter? It was in signs, so... Oh, great. I had no idea who could have... Oh my gosh. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. Surprisingly, too. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I didn't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This? So passionately, too. I... Hmm. Okay, thanks, Undyne. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Dating. Start. Question mark? Uh, uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, it's the, it's the, uh, thing in her closet. Uh, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating, start. <laughs> wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop? <laughs> um, I gotta give your you items to raise your affection statistic first. Oh my gosh, it's like all those dating sims all over. Like, Hoonie Pop. Oh gosh, that one was interesting. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Okay. Right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in antis an anticipation for a d date like this. I'm stuttering more than her, that's weird. F first, I've got some metal armor polish, um... Well, I'm not an anime weeaboo, so I think that'll be fun. Uh, um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. I am human. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Could work. Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start with the date. Dating. Start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. Uh, do you like anime? Nope. Oh, I accidentally pressed it. Hey, me, me too. Um, well, I guess it's fine, I guess. Because I am going to be watching anime sometime. Like, Full Metal Alchemist. That one's... That, that one... That's one of the ones I'm going to try. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage... <laughs> yeah, the great first impression. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Is this in Waterfall? This is where Undyne and I come all the time, probably, since it, she doesn't like going to Hotland. 
We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. Oh no. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? Um... Um... Wait... Oh no, am I blocking her? Um... I might want to switch my thing around. <laughs> um... Yeah, this... We'll, we'll try this for now. Alright. Have you at least seen her? Um... Uh... No would probably be the best thing. Yeah would mean she's somewhere around here. No! But she wasn't at home. Where the heck should she be? Um... Not here. Oh my gosh. Oh, the music just slowed down. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. Yeah, that was kind of implied. I'm sorry. I just just figured, y you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you t to make you feel better. What about making you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. I'm not the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Oh, believe me, that's like the same thing for like anyone I'd want to date, too, so... N not that you are, um, cool, B but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me, which I do. Yeah, keep keep lying. Great, great video game advice. Um, yeah, just tell her the truth. There's nothing you can tell better than the truth, probably. Plus, it'll feel the most natural. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't there this way to live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I better just be whatever makes people like me. And, yeah, that's... that's not the best. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the t truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's role Obviously, let's roleplay. <laughs> roleplay. Roleplay. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Nah! Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> since I can... Since I technically play Undyne. Because it's like... Haha, <laughs> I'm... In the videos, whatever. Ahem. H Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll just go with I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about something. Then <laughs> she kisses. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ruin this for her, even if it's just for some laughs. Um, what is it, Alphys? Um, <clears throat> you see, I, 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 ha I haven't been exactly truthful with you. Y you see, I. I... Oh, forget it. Undyne, I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and, and strong and nice. Y you always listen to me when I talk about the nerdy stuff. Y you always do your best to make me f f feel special. L like telling me that you'll... Oh no, she's gonna be in the... She's, she's gonna hear all this, isn't she? That you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, 
I can't take this any longer. I'm- Oh no! Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, I'm dying. I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically roleplaying. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, I'm dying, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important, really, I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt and pajamas that time I... Alphys. I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think... I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some... nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. <laughs> okay, I said that. Mmm, gotta keep it PG. Shh. Shh. Uh oh. Get dunked on. Alfie's. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical, doesn't matter what it is, you care about it, 100% at maximum power, unlike me, so you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become a happy with who you are. That's nice. And I know just the training you need to do that. Okay, my ears are bleeding from this, so I need to turn it down. I'm dying. You... Y you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh. Jog boy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Just like I did, Jack. What? Oh my gosh! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is... NONIT! <laughs> NONIT! <laughs> um... I mean, I'd be kind of hypocritical if I said no. If I said yeah, so... No! NO! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alfie's. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Oh, yep, we are in here. Oh, are we gonna have to fight that dummy? That'd be annoying. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Cool. Oh, we've only been going for 14 minutes, okay. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> Uh, now, I feel very, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Yeah, that is not like him at all. Something is going on. And I am going to find out what. Oh, let's say I did Mr. Grishin. 
Whoa there, I've got some meat junk for sale. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oops, that's what happens when you press the Windows key. Um, I don't need any of these. Sorry. I just like doing his voice because it's, it's cool. <gasps> Yay, river person. Tra la la, care for a ride. Where will we go today? Oh, I kind of like the like the mysterious voice I give him. Then we're off. Oh, I can check my phone while we're doing this. Nice. Tra la la, humans, monsters, flowers. What? What? Okay, that's kind of weird how you group them together like that. Whatever. Alright. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Um, wait, why is there water on my thing? I didn't spill water, did I? I may have spilled water. Okay. Great. Oh. Yeah. Let's save again. Just cause. Alright. Let's see what Papyrus wanted us to find. Yeah, and there's that. There's a message. It's a strange kind of handwriting. It says, I know what you did. Wait, wait, was There's a message crumpled up in the trash can. It's in a strange kind of handwriting. It says, I know what you did. Cause that's, cause she was talking before about how she's done like all these things, like, hmm, this is interesting, um, let's be a figure unit, you know. uh, that's not what I was, can I get more instant noodles? Filled with instant noodles and soda. Oh, I can't take any more noodles? Why? Um, what else can I get? Snowman piece. Um, I'm going to take that with me, just because why not. Nope. Um, here, wait, wait, also, wait, what happens if I call up them? You're at Alphys' lab, is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And, tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And, wait, no, don't ask any of that. Uh, oh, uh, they're gonna be so cute. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. I, I, I sometimes switch, be switch between Alphys and Alphys, so uh, apologies if I do. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Oh no, is it gonna say like, um, er, like, <sighs> I don't know, I was thinking of like, Lay's potato chips, like it, like that's what you'd interpret it to be, but instead it'd be like, what, what's a word that's closely resembles Lay's, uh, says, okay, that's fine. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your sport really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. Oh, I can also move my webcam back, that would probably be good. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh, that's depressing. Oh my gosh, I actually choked on my water. That scared me. EM tatters. <coughs> uh oh. Oh boy. Rip. I mean, we've survived a lot of falls so far. Like, this should just be called Underfall. 
I don't know. That was a terrible joke, but... Okay. Entry number one. <clears throat> this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. And that is... I will create the power to free us all. Oh no. I will unleash the power of the soul. And let me guess, the soul is all like evil and it's going to take over everything. And that's what happened. Entry number two. And she used like, um, she um, is secretly a wizard from Harry Potter and used to obliviate on everyone to make sure no one knew. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. I don't know if it's Alpha. Soul power- I'll just read it normally, since it's normal text. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. Extracting a soul from a living monster would require living incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death, sorry. If only I can make a monster's soul last. I don't get how that... Okay, how would that help, though? Like, obviously that would give them enough time to, like, get to... to for waiting the humans, for the humans to fall down. But... Still. Still. Like, it's not... To free us all, like free us all, like, hmm. and they said involving the souls, so oh, this could be very, very bad. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Press windows again. Let's call this power windows. Determination. And that was in yellow text too. Clever. I am getting goosebumps from this. This is actually freaky. True laboratory. By chips. You are caring too much. I Sure. Um, I mean, I already made the snowman happy, so do it. Oh, there's no response. Okay, well, I meant to pick up the box, but whatever. Um, anything I need to throw out right now. Put this away. Then the machine dispense some chips. Wait, how much does that heal? Is this potato chips. Ooh, that that sounds very good. Um, let me see. The junk food didn't restore everything, did it? Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll take that one out then. I will go with the snowman piece. Okay. Um, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Okay, this is too loud. Like I don't even know if everyone. Can About like 19, minus 19, so. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Um, left or, yeah, left. Because I like to go left to right, obviously. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. Oh, but what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Hmm. But there's got to be some risk to this, after all. But, yeah, still, I don't see how it frees everyone. Like, like it just gets people to survive, like, some time. And that doesn't really help if they're not free, so... 
things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Uh-oh. I turned on the sink. Wait. Oh, I can interact with all this? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Are they all sticky? Goodness gracious. Can I turn off the sink? Turned off the sink. I turned on the sink. I turned off the sink. I turned on the sink. Mmm, that is not very PG. Oh. Blank Journeyer. Check. No, d no data available. Okay. Oh. Ah. Hey, do But your inventory was full. Oh, yeah, I gotta keep pressing Z after that. Oh. Stat. Attack, defense, defense 25. Er, attack 25, defense 25. Whatever. Um. So, cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come and join the fun. Totally not creepy. This music is pretty cool, though. Memory head. Join. I'm gonna say a big fat no on that one. Oh well. <sighs> oh, I'm. No! Don't lose hope. <laughs> yeah. That is not good. Let's try that again. Oh. What? Oh! Okay, I was like, is it like a one-time thing, and if you die, you just don't... That would have been really interesting, too, but... You take out your cell phone. You can hear voice through Okay, come join the fun. Ah! Oof! Uh, refuse. Oh well. Okay. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Okay. Yeah, I can spare all of them. Zero gold. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Okay. Huh. Click! The red key fits perfectly in the slot. There's no on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Oh, so they dropped it down the drain. Okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. Did I read this? Things aren't going well. No. Okay, yeah. Wait, why is it all in lowercase one? Huh. Is it just because, like, Toby was lazy, or <laughs> what? Okay, so that's working like that. So let's save. Power, okay. I thought that was another thing. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. Uh, I'd say that's a bad idea. I want this to work. I don't think you want it to work. Entry number 13. Did I skip 12? One of the bodies opens its eyes. Oh, that's like how, like... Like, American Horror Story starts. Like, that kind of stuff. It's an empty dog food bowl. Or, like, The Exorcist. There's a bed. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Huh. Street. 
heat lamp. A street lamp with a tentacle. And <laughs> just boop. Aww. <laughs> okay, well, there's the boop, of course. Okay. That was nice. It's a bed. Wait, what did I just do? I heard something click. It's a bed. <gasps> this one looks odd. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. It's a person. <laughs> this is like a freaking dead body. <laughs> oh, that would that would be very non PG. <laughs> it's bad. Wait, the clock is broken. Okay, it's bad. It's bad. Bedroom. Oh, okay. Entry number fourteen. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore to return the vessel to this garden. I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I think I see. So if she keeps injecting them, she can also create more souls, maybe. More souls, huh? Funny pun. Oh, that. More souls. Okay, yeah, that actually sounds kind of creepy when I'm talking about like food. But more souls. Like if she, if she, if she could create like seven, then that would be good. So, like, create a human soul from a monster soul. I see. Okay. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh. Zombie apocalypse right here. I'm calling it. Well. Oh, I'm. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Having a little bit too much fun there. <laughs> save. How will I even get past here? Whatever. I don't need to save it. Uh, entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Okay, that's all you can read. Click the yellow key if it's perfectly in the slot. All right. There are a bunch of VHSs. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. Okay. Okay. There's a VH. S player with a few tapes picked out besides it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. We watch one. I'll just start from the beginning. Piss. <laughs> Pissed. <laughs> Cory, wake up. Oh, is it? Okay, here. I'm. I. I think I know who this is, but who they are? I mean. What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that vi video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Cory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no! My favorite vegetable is edamame. Hey, get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... a Marmoranian. Ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be... a famous Marmedian. 
Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Don't worry. That one was funny. Ha ha ha. I know. I was just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Is this just all of them making puns? I mean, I'm down for that, but... Okay, Axel, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Wait, wh wait, who's this? Ah, hehe. <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. <laughs> why do I keep fixing the camera? He's like, he's just like why are you making me watch more? Howdy, Axel. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> well, I... Oh, yeah, I remember. We tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. Oof. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. That's not good. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just joking. They're just kids, obviously, so... I, I don't like this idea, Axel. What? No, no, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Axel. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. I think I know where to go with this. Is this... Wait, <gasps> this story... Yeah, yeah, this lines up pretty well. Axel, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Axel, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Axel, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? That's actually really depressing. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, let me go see. Oh. Oh. It smells like sweet lemons. Wait. Lemon bread. Okay. Call. You called for help, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. Oh. Oh. Ow. I don't see that one, so... It smells like sweet. Okay. Um, you hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Stay here with me. Ooh. No, please. Not good. No, okay, I'm actually gonna die. Um, let's... Junk food. Eat the junk food. Uh, I didn't see what that said. Ah. Okay, that- that- That's a small attack, but I still- I don't know if I should say, like, a seizure warning on that or anything. Also, look how tangled up my cord is. I'm gonna- I'm- I need to do a thorough untangling after this. Um, scream, flex. Scream. He screamed out, but nobody came. Okay. That's what they all say. This is kind of reminding me of Flowey. Oh. Oh. Ah. Let's go with the start bay. That's one. Okay. Oh, okay, that's dumb. Flex. What about unhug? You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. But nobody came. Okay, there's literally no way out of that unless you get hit. That's great. Um, 
cry. You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? Okay. Okay. I can get hit one more time. Flex. You flexed your arm. Lumbread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Okay. No! Are you serious? Fate rests upon you. Axel, stay in our bed. <sighs> well, oh. Flower room. That would be convenient. Um, yeah, I've already gone this way. Oh, I have to do this over again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let me put this in real quick. Click the L key fits perfectly in the slot. So flex seemed to work. We'll go flex. Flex seal. That's what. That's that's how you win the fight. You use flex seal. You flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscles shake. Welcome to my special help. Hey. I'm getting better. Unhug. Right. Nobody came. Oh, okay. I didn't get hit. Dang it. Okay, spared. Um. Seems to remember something. Okay, that's good. Could this be a goodbye? I don't know, maybe. Was this say? And what is that thing? Wait. Oh, it looks like the thing from the um, the Photoshop Flatwave boss fight. DT extraction machine. Determination. Status inactive. Can I activate it? Hello. <laughs> it just destroys everything. <laughs> What'd that do? It's too dark to see near the walls. Ah. Uh. Some sort of cold rectangular object. Click. Green key fits perfectly in the slot. There's no on the ground. You can't make it all out. Kurt. Kurt. Okay. We cold and rectangular. There's something here. It feels like it's breathing. It feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. Okay. Can I come back here? Also, yeah, totally love it when you just see something breathing and you don't know what it is. That's great. Alright. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. And we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh, it's it's because it's like so hot, isn't it? Like, because of how like it must be those legs, you know? There's a switch on the wall. Press it. What? Oh, those. What are those things? Oh. Um. Um. Oh, this is something out of a horror story. Send help! Wait! Oh, I can't open my menu. I wanted to call up a virus. It's on nine. Unswitch! Unswitch! Ah. I don't want to die. It's the amalgamate. Oh, it's like the dog thing. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Hmm. Let 
Malgamate is watching you intently. Pet. Malgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, these attacks are kind of funny, so. It smells like a bunch of dogs. Are they wet dogs? Because that's not the best smell. Bounce sword deflecting a strange liquid from an orifice. That is, I don't like how descriptive th th that one is. Like, sometimes you get clear, vivid images. Yeah, that was too vivid. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. Um, pet? You pet the amalgamate. Convulses rap, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls widely on the walls. It's, um, like... Wait, Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. <laughs> Wait, so it's also like a cat, then. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly, you repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans tripping. Oh, so it's like Greater Dog. Amorphous, amorphous body on you. Wait, did all these things die when I wasn't looking? Because I didn't kill them, so... Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. No, I don't want to ignore it. Um, pet, pet the Amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Huh. Mino like. Okay. Okay. Oh. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify. Okay. Um, let's eat the junk food. Okay, this one's easier. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Amalgamates, convulsions, and says, but you pet the size Oh! Oh, no, it's kind of cats. The amalgamate seems to be the satisfied with all this. Endogony is, con is contented. Huh. Bye. Bye, Poochie. Alright, can I save yet, or... Since I turned on the fan... Does that mean that other thing is working? I have no idea. I could save again, but I just want to keep progressing, so I'll just keep going. Entry number 19. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Okay, so what was the breathing object? Entry number 20. That score left me five messages today. What about everyone being angry? What about this cute teacup he found that looks like me? Thanks, Asgore. Gotta love the big guy. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oof. Mood, honestly, sometimes. Wait, why did I come up here? Oh, I did. Wait. Green switch. Wait. I didn't turn that one on, though. There's a note on the It's a refrigerator. It's empty. <gasps> oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, that was probably the one that was breathing. It's so cold. Malgamy. Check. Negative. Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. So cold. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha <laughs> ha, I remember. Laugh. You laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. You said something like, you look horrible, why are you even l Okay. What? You didn't say that? Snowy. You told a bad pun about snow, her expression changes more. Ha <sighs> ha, thank you. It's so cool. You told a bad pun about snow, she's completely calm.
so... Oh, back in the Hotland, in the MCC Hotel, the guy, um, the dad of the Snowdrake, uh, monster that we fought in Snowden, um, he talked about the mother passing away, so maybe that was the mother. Interesting. Okay, wasn't there a flower room that we have to go into? That's gonna be lovely. Okay, now I will save. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. Oh, yep, yep. I see that's what I was talking about. Um, they're making more souls, so yeah. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. This is a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither monster nor human? A flower. Flowey. That explains some things. And that also probably explains why the river person said that. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. Their household work with anyway. See, so just stick to you and won't let go. <laughs> you just get into like a room of mirrors. Oh, that's covering the menu. Okay, it doesn't damage me when it like touches me, so check. Way. This last look. Huh. Oh. Why moths? Why why must moths do that? On, mystify, clean, pray. Pray would probably be our best bet. You kneel and pray for safety. But it remembers its conscience. Enough. Okay, don't touch me, mods. Uh, mystify. You did something mysterious. Recognize as more alert than this world. Oh, it's the uh, core monsters. Pick on me. Oh! Oh! Hum. Hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Okay, so that's... Okay, so I need... So do I need to pick on it? Or they, sorry. Pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. Courage. Ah. Reaper Bird seems placated. Okay, bye. Click the blue key to fits perfectly in the saw on this one. Can't make it all out cold. Yep, that explains that. Okay. Okay, so I go back to the area that before since I've explored everything. Oh, so that's what the dog food bowl is for. Hmm. Oh, seems like another elevator has lost its power. Huh. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Hm. Is this like... See, it seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn on? Alright. Um. Hi, friends. I'm currently busy right now. Can you please not, um, get in my face? Hey, hey stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they didn't get when they don't get fed on time. Boy, I I completely understand that, you know. 
Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. B but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. The experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into bows. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell the, their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Hey! Come on, boys! <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. It's time for everyone to go home. I love a happy ending. I'm just gonna say that alright. Entry number 8. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. Oh, I'm getting so many goosebumps. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. <sighs> Sorry, I, I just need... <laughs> I need to yawn. Flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Axel! Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Is this a human? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Axel, see you soon. Ooh. Ooh. The door is jammed shut with vines. Wow. But it's a voice. Okay, I don't know. Um, let me see. Yeah, let's. Unfortunately, let's just skip all this. Oh, do I have to talk to Sans again? How are you doing, Sans? Oh. Oh, Sans knows. Oh, wait, I already went through Sans anyway, so. Throne room. Let's do this. Or we'll, yeah, we'll have to save here. Let me get to the save point. Uh, which is up here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I will unfortunately have to end that episode here. This, this will be very interesting to come to a close to, but I've had a lot of fun with it, and next episode will unfortunately be the last. So, um... If you want to see that, then spam thumbs up with your thumbs up. Subscribe me for some more awesome whenever it comes out content. And turn on notifications so you know when things come out by me. And also share the video with friends, family, your local skeleton. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! -o!